Hello friends. Welcome to C Sharp Intermediate Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching a new sub series 7 and in this sub series we will learn how to use a thread synchronization using interlocked class. So in this uh, first video we will get introduced to what is atomic operation and how it can be achieved through interlocked class. At, at machine instruction set level, if set of instruction guaranteed to execute together, we call it as atomic operation. So if there are, say for example, four instruction or five instruction set that achieves a goal then we can call this as a atomic operation for example let us consider value increment using plus plus operator most of the languages supports this unary operator plus plus as well as minus minus so let's consider this statement int let's consider this statement int x equal to 1 so this will initialize the x to value 1 then x plus plus so it will increment the value in x from 1 to 2 even though x plus plus looks a single statement for us it can be expanded into multiple instruction set in low level to achieve the goal of incrementing the value which stored in specific location which is identified by the identifier x. At machine code level x++ will be performed in three stages. So first thing is at a machine level I mean it should read the bits from the storage which is identified by this variable x so that means it reads the content which is already in some location so it can be 1 to 15 whatever so whatever is stored in this location x that will be read so that's one action then performing the actual increment because it's a plus plus right the value will be incremented by 1 then the incremented value will be put back to the storage so that's the revised bit right everything is uh, bits here so if there is some value 1 then if it is incremented it will go as uh, in binary it will go as a uh, 1 0 right so likewise if there are uh, a big number then there will be a bit operation that revised bit will go back to the same storage to indicate that value is incremented so x plus plus here if you see at machine level it's a combination of a three operation reading the value from the storage performing the addition then putting back the revised bits so if you look at here so this is taken from c plus plus but uh, in most of the language uh, there will be a CPU level instruction set that performs the action here it's X++ if you see MOI some people will call it as move immediate so from this location something is stored to a register EIX then this is the add value is incremented then from EAX the value is moved here right from this location content is moved to register from the register addition is performed then the revised bits are from EAX it got stored to the location so that's how it is a combination of three operation and if all three operation is completed in uh, one go then we can call it as a atomic operation or if uh, machine guarantees that these three statement will be executed 
at once, then we can call it as a atomic operation. In threaded environment, when X is shared among multiple threads, there is a possibility of CPU switching taking place before completing all three low-level instructions. So here, in this example, we have taken these three instruction set and we can call this as a low-level instructions. So let's state that there are two threads T1 and T2 and let's assume these three instruction set with some numbers 1, 2 and 3 and let's state that this is thread 1 traveling and trying to execute the instruction sets. Same goes for thread 2. Let's state that the value in x is 7 initially and now let's assume that thread t1 is entering. So instruction set it is reading the value 7 then it is performing the increment 8 then context switch taken place at this location. Now let's state that in the meantime t2 also entered when it is reading the value from location, the location is not yet changed by thread t1, right? So when it is reading it, it will also read the content 7 and it increments the value 8 and let's state that it put back the value to this uh, pointer location or to the memory location, that's 8 and thread t1 is coming out. I mean thread T2 is coming out. So let's state that this is what actually happening and this is what we expect here. So thread T2 the final goal is 8 so it achieved 8 here. Now context switch is happening let's assume like that and thread T1 resumes it put back the value 8. Here also the actual result is 8 and if you see two thread is having the same value but what was expected is if context switch doesn't happen 7, 8, 8 will be kept back here and value expected is 8 here then if T2 enters once T1 is completed all three instruction set, let's state that T2 entered. When it is reading the value instead of 7, it will write 8 and then it will perform the increment that will be 9 here. Then we will come here and we will put back the red value which is also 9 here and actual value that is stored is 9. And if you see, so, so, sorry, this is the expected one. So expected is 9. Since here the context switching is happening in between the instruction set, all the mess happened at uh, the actual result. So this is what we can avoid using the interlocked class. We previously saw a solution of using the critical section using monitor enter and monitor exit. So this enter and exit will perform the explicit lock and release. So this one we saw in the previous uh, subseries. Now we will use interlocked class. So it's designed specially to perform value increment and decrement. So we will use interlocked class to perform the increment and achieve the same result. So decrement also possible by this interlocked class. Here the interlocked class is smart enough to execute all three instructions together. That means we can simply call the interlocked class is smart enough to execute X++ as a single atomic operation. Single atomic means all three will 
guaranteed to execute in one go. So there will not be any context switch like this. So that's all here in this video. So now you got an idea of what is atomic operation and uh, the interlocked class will perform atomic operation and we will see uh, that in the next two video. Thank you for watching. Bye.